What's going on viewers and Naruto fans and welcome to Stuber Gaming. Today we're going to discuss Naruto Shippuden episode 419, Papa's Youth. I gotta say, for an episode that kind of had shaky animation, or at least like, you know, flash anim or like animation that looks like flash animation done poorly, and just a bunch of flashbacks, the episode, I gotta say, was alright. As you guys know, pretty much, once again, we are in an episode dealing with Guy's youth. As you know, Guy Sensei dealing with things from when he was a child with his father. It continued along from last week's episode. And I gotta say, I felt like this week's episode was a bit better in terms of the flashbacks. Obviously, there wasn't much current action going down between Madara and Guy, at least until the end of the episode. But I gotta say, for what it was, I did enjoy it, obviously. As you guys know, the full front of the episode dealt with Guy growing as an individual along with his own father and kind of a little bit of a separation along with his own motivation and self-rule. Obviously, I gotta say, I do love Guy's character, be it I'm gonna do 500 push-ups or else I'm gonna do 500 push-ups on my fingers. It just gets crazy with Guy and Rock Lee and I gotta say, the characters in general are just crazy because, you know, only Taijutsu, so yeah. But still, that ended up leading off into the eight gates near the end of the episode where we actually found out, if you guys did not know, that Guy Sensei's father was the one who taught him the formation, the technique, which is a forbidden jutsu. It, it was actually kind of random in terms of the timing of when they decided to put in there, but it was kind of obvious, obviously, seeing how we are reaching the climax of the episode and we are more likely going to get back to current stats. It was kind of easy to see that this was going to happen, obviously. Guy's father being there when he actually needed him and using the actual technique and it's kind of a situation you wouldn't expect. Still was pretty freaking awesome. Obviously at the end of the episode though, we did get to see Guy go eight gates on Madara, not the full-fledged battle, but him coming right at him with the red vapor. Obviously I cannot wait for next week's episode and also guys, what did you guys think about this episode and also the flashbacks in general for all these episodes? not being exactly just filler. So next time guys, peace out. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.